morning everyone. So today I'm going to be making some cornbread, but I wanted to show you how you can make cornmeal. So I know in the store you buy uh, cornmeal. I don't know if it comes in a bag or a box, but those of you that buy cornmeal know um, what it is. And also, I think, I'm not real sure, I think there's like instant packages of cornbread. I don't know. There might be. I have no idea. But if you wanted to make your own cornbread, there's a couple ways you can do it. So, if you have popcorn, or this is some corn that we had grew that uh, we dried. So basically after we pick the corn from outside, you know, we shuck it, but we leave the part of the stalk on there and then we tie them with um, like twine and we actually hang them over the rafters in our garage and let them dry. You could also do it in a dehydrator if you wanted to, but this is just dried sweet corn. So I usually make a, a big batch to you know, keep in a jar so that I don't have to do it every time I want cornbread. So this is a batch that I made. But you can use either or. You can use popcorn or you can use dehydrated corn. And if you have a, a grain mill, you can use that to grind it up into a flour. Or I just use this. I just put it in there and run it a few times and you know I'll shake it every so often and run it through. Now one thing you may want to do if you don't have like a grain mill, which I kind of learned this one the hard way, is after you do it, you want to kind of, you know, sift it out just to make sure that there are not any hard, oops, any hard chunks of corn in there. And you can do this with a strainer or a flour sifter. Um, you know, once you kind of get through this, you'll be able to like see if there's any big chunks in there that might, you know, that didn't get ground down and that one actually looks just fine. So just kind of sift through it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cornmeal ready and we will be back in a moment and I will show you how I make my cornbread and I will link a, I actually, I'll put the recipe in the description box and then I'll also um, pop up a picture of my recipe on the screen if I can, but if not for sure, the um, recipe will be in the description box. So, see, cornmeal. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and we will be back in a moment and we will uh, make our homemade cornbread. Okay, so we got our cornmeal ready. Let's make some cornbread. So the first thing you want to do is get your pan. Um, I use my cast iron skillet to do it, so you just want to make sure your cast iron skillet is greased really well. You're going to put it in an oven that is preheating at 450. So let me get this in the oven. I've already greased my pan. All right, so that is going to preheat in the oven. So the first thing that we need, and I am not as prepared as I thought. little measuring cups because they have a variety of things. So the first thing I need is one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, white flour. Um, you could probably even use wheat. So you want one fourth cup flour. And then we want three-fourths cup cornmeal. This is the corn, uh, the popcorn that we ground up to make cornmeal. So three-fourths cup of cornmeal. And then, what did I do with my tablespoon? Oh. I 
measured the other other stuff out, I used it. Okay. So now you want four tablespoons of sugar. Actually, one grab the baking powder and I'll be right back. I thought I had everything ready, but obviously I don't. Okay, so next we want three teaspoons of baking powder. And I buy my baking powder in bulk. And then I just refill this thing because I like that little lip thing to level out your measurement. Okay, now we're going to do one teaspoon of salt, this tablespoon. So we want one teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to mix the dry ingredients together. And next we're going to add one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk or a way to make buttermilk, you can use regular milk. That's fine. Um, I did do a video on how to make homemade buttermilk. I'll actually put that a link up in the corner. Um, so I've already had my buttermilk going. Um, I pre-made it, so I have one cup of buttermilk. And like I said, you can use regular milk if you want. So there's my one cup buttermilk. One egg beaten and three oh that was the butter okay so sorry that was three tablespoons of melted butter one egg beaten I'm getting ahead of myself here now this next step is optional you don't have to put it in we are going to for ours but it is optional so I dehydrate our green chili and I make, well some of it I just crush up and keep in like a mason jar to add to things, but I also powder um, a bunch of it to make for like recipes like this or to add to eggs or you know different seasonings. So this is our powdered green chili and I am going to put in, um, I think one tablespoon of powdered green chili. Now you have to be careful when you powder your own green chili because it is very, very strong. Oh, it's tickling my nose. <coughs> yep, that green chili is pretty potent. All right, that's all there is to that. So now, I'm going to get our cast iron skillet out of the oven. So now this is going to go into the oven and I'm going to bake it at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. So we will, I'm going to get this in the oven and we will be back as soon as it is ready and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so it is all done. I let it go for actually 17 minutes. But what you want to do to see if it's done is just check the center, make sure it comes out clean, let it sit and cool. If you have a cooling rack, you can put it on a cooling rack. 
But that is how you make homemade cornbread, literally from scratch. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, don't forget to like and share our videos. That really helps us and we greatly appreciate it. And hit us up on Instagram. We're also on there. So remember, every day is a new beginning. Stay blessed.